G'day champions. So in this video, I'm gonna be modifying this propeller to fit on a yeah, smaller motor than it's designed for. Um, I've had this sitting on the shelf for 10 years and um, haven't needed it for anything. It's not splined. The splines inside there aren't splined for any motor that I have. Um, so I'm probably gonna cut down the size of it a little bit and I will be trying to install, yeah, a different spline inside this. Um, there's a few ways which you can go about doing that. You can push out the old, yeah, bush and spline and everything from the center. Um, but if you have enough meat in there, sometimes you can drill out the center of that and, yeah, press fit this spline inside the old, yeah, brass spline in there. And you can still utilize the old rubber bush. Um, and, yeah, often I'll epoxy those in and put some pins in between the two, um, yeah, splines. And that works really well. I've used that racing and everything like that. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So that bush is now drilled through, which is great. I need to now just machine this down a little bit to fit down that hole. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is that's an old prop shaft for that spline. I'm going to slide that onto there and I will spin the drill up and use the grinder to just shave a, a tiny amount off this spline so it pushes into that tight and then yeah I can epoxy that in and pin between the two and um, yeah never gonna have an issue So there I'm just mixing up some epoxy weld and just, yeah, making sure I've got a thin smear of that the whole way down the old spline, yeah, both top and bottom. And then also on the uh, new spline, which I'm gonna be pressing inside. So yeah, just making sure to have a clear coat on all of that. And yeah, just starting to install that down the, yeah, the old spline, tapping that in, making sure that, um yeah, <laughs> In my mind, I'm gonna clean up any mess that's going down inside before it goes off. And you can see there, I actually put a plug in the bottom so that, yeah, all the epoxy didn't go up inside the new spline. So you can see the spline, which I've glued inside the machined out original spline. Now I've drilled, um, yeah, two pin holes. They're about 15 millimeters deep and I have some stainless welding rod, which I will glue down those holes. So yeah, about 15 millimeters. There's two on the top and I've also drilled out two underneath as well. So yeah, you're not gonna be able to spin that center hub without shearing off about 60 millimeters of stainless steel pin and also shearing off the um, epoxy weld between the two. So yeah, I've found that works fantastically. Now that I have the spline in that for the motor I'm putting it on, so it's gonna suit, um, I need to reduce the blade diameter a little bit. So I've gotta take just over half an inch off each blade to reduce the diameter of the whole prop. Um, there's two options here. One is to, yeah, just remove the, the tips there um, to bring the diameter down and another option which will, that will keep it as a cleaver style prop. Another option is to round them off slightly. And I've had a few mates run props like that that have worked well for them. So I'm gonna give it a go. It's in between a, a cleaver style and a chopper style. So I don't wanna remove any material off this cause I have a feeling this is already gonna to be too much pitch for the motor I'm running it on. And removing the uh, leading edge there actually increases the prop pitch. So 
I'm gonna leave that for now and cut the blades. I'll mark them all with a template, um, sharpen it, and then I'll balance it. So anyway, fingers crossed that this works. Um, if it's still too much pitch, I can start, yeah, bending that um, leading edge up a little bit and that will reduce the pitch. I also can bend that um, trailing edge back down a little bit. So yeah, anyway, you gotta start somewhere. So we'll continue on with this. So I've gone ahead and I've cut the tips off these blades. I did use a template and then I balanced it and I did do a water test on this prop like that. Um, I think it's about two videos ago on the channel. So go and check that out. Um, I was really impressed with it actually. Um, got a really good top end speed. Jumping up on the plane was a little bit difficult. Um, so, cause I'm running this really high out of the water. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of cupping to these um, yeah, trailing edges, just a tiny cup. I don't wanna increase the pitch much. And also the trailing edge of these blades was really thick. So I'm just fairing that back in. I don't think that makes a massive difference um, because yeah, it's very low pressure under here anyway, but I'm gonna give that a go as well. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna jump in and put a tiny cup on these. I'll finish fairing the backs in, then I'll balance it again. And um, yeah, video after this will probably be, yeah, seeing if that's made any positive changes to the prop. Anyway, I'll jump in and um, put some cupping on. All right, so that's finished. I've put a tiny cup on these, yeah, trailing edges of the blades and yeah, buffed the backs back in. That's all balanced. There's plenty of um, videos on my channel about like balancing propellers at home and stuff like that. So if you are interested in yeah, how to shape and thin and stuff, and balance props at home. Um, yeah, scroll back through, there's a few videos on that. Anyway, I have, as you can see, added a tiny cup just to that area there on the blades. Just on that trailing edge, it's very small. I don't wanna yeah, put too much because um, the motor's already, yeah, sort of, that's max sort of, yeah, pitch for that motor, so. Excuse my sweat today, it's uh, 43 degrees here in Australia today, Celsius, so yeah, it's, it's pretty hot. But anyway, um, next video we'll be testing this one, and uh, yeah, subscribe for more boat-related fun, propellers, motors, services, stuff like that. All the best, champs. See ya.